What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha, nice to meet you all. Get in here because we've got quite a bit to get on into. Why do I, why do I sound like that? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out how you can win some free gifts with Belessa. Anyways guys, yes, we're gonna go ahead and talk about my queen scissor. We're gonna have an honest ass conversation about my queen scissor whilst I go ahead and um, do my makeup, okay? Scissor is so toxic, like so toxic. And now that I've entered, I've never really been like a toxic girl. <laughs> but I do think I did have traits and I'm willing to like hold myself accountable and be like you know what I could have done without that sure I might have been the problem in that situation now that I've like drastically left that I look at certain things so different and her lyrics to me are just so stupid like it's so stupid it's so good though it's so good though Scissor to me is one of the best writers one of the best writers but her lyrics I'm looking at her like yo she's a grown woman though so I'm like is this is this ever gonna leave you is this ever gonna leave your body speaking of bodies <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and quickly interrupt this video but it's a good kind of interruption because we're going to go ahead and talk about Balesa. Balesa are currently hosting a giveaway where you guys, yes you're watching right now, can be in the chance to win some goodies. Best believe you're going to want them. Balesa is a bi woman company which is aimed to get women to, you know, feeling pleasured and really embrace one's sexuality. I know for me now more than ever I'm really just like having fun, I'm really just trying to experience things, I'm trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like. I'm sure you guys watching right now are probably like yeah same Belessa has got you Belessa's mission is to basically help you guys get to where you need to be if you know what I mean and also just embrace one's sexuality and just celebrate women okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few of my favorite products I'm not gonna lie usually in this life I'm a gatekeeper but I've got you bitches today okay okay so here is the first product her name is Pebble I really love this because she's so petite and tiny she fits so perfectly into your hands as you guys can see very compact the suction on this though I mean, can we talk about, I mean, we're going to talk about it. The suction on this bad boy right here is insane. Absolutely love it. I love how it's not noisy. I love that there's different options for it. Because I feel like sometimes when it comes to toys, I do think that, you know, I'm going to need more options. If I pay my money on certain things, I want more options, more facilities on the product. And this one definitely offers you that. Also, another thing to note is that the vibration on this product is controlled. So, you know, it just, it basically helps you to reach the heights shall we say i don't want youtube to completely demonetize me but if you know then you know or if you don't know then truly get to know this is literally how it looks and it's very pretty as well i have to admit i love the rose gold with the pink okay so let's go ahead and get on into air vibe one of my personal faves i mean the packaging for me is to do the duo hold on a second this baby don't play with it i mean play with it but you get what i mean <laughs> this packaging though but let's go ahead and talk about what this bad boy can offer you this has a dual stimulation g-spot and clitoris they are not playing Belessa are not playing i do want to also clarify that these products are packaged very discreetly so you know if a lot of you guys are trying to be sneaky eeky i get it um they just come in like a normal box it doesn't give away too much of what the product is this right here is silent but deadly very discreet the battery life on these products are absolutely amazing as well so i mean a win is a win products are rechargeable alongside waterproof as well okay and last but not least this is thump miss thumpiana this one thumps vibrates and suction i love how they offer different products in different colors it's just fancy and just fun and when you pick it up it looks cute and then it's time to go it's designed to be the de facto for you know external clitoris stimulation so this utilizes blesses jets technology it's made with premium silicone again when you guys are going to purchase it you guys can you know have a scroll around the website and see what product you guys want to get your hand on and really test out for yourself it has like a thump technology which helps with natural clitoris palpitation true feels vibration naturally you know complements the suctions at the target base so you just know she comes in clutch. Okay, so as I mentioned, Balesa are currently hosting a huge giveaway so you guys can get the chance to win a few of these bad boys as well as receive like gift vouchers and everything. All the important information will be linked to the first line in the description box. Definitely do not miss out. Check it out. And yes, thank you Balesa so much for sponsoring today's video and let's get on into it. Okay, so now that we are here, back again i've already done my concealer i don't wear i mean i do wear foundation but i don't want to wear foundation today because babes i'm not doing anything i'm not going anywhere but i do want to take a few pictures or whatever anyways yeah scissor is kind of no scissor is actually very problematic um 
and I don't mean like in a lying scheming way I mean in like a bruh like a toxic relationship type of way and I'm sorry but I can't vouch for that I can't like those days are gone I think I was probably toxic back in 2000 and 2020 no I didn't have time to be toxic I was bored in the house in the house bored lockdown was kicking my ass shit babes who am I gonna be toxic to like what <laughs> no but like I was definitely toxic back then for sure um and I didn't grow out of that respectfully until I was like what flipping 22 so I, I started toxicity in 2021 and then continued it the next year can you imagine it's obviously not down to scissor but I'm just saying like the music you consume can definitely subconsciously play a part in who we are as people what we believe what we think about what we think is cool and i just want you guys to know being toxic is not cool please don't do it and to any man watching a straight man watching specifically um women do not like that i can just vouch like we just don't like that and i mean why did we like that though because i'm not gonna sit on here and pretend i never really liked a toxic man like i never thought it was interesting but like it's actually really depressing it's depressing can you tell i'm going for it yes babes even a fine babe like me is going through it there's no hope for you bitches. I'm joking. Also, if you're new around here, please don't take me seriously. Because a lot of the time I don't take myself seriously. You know what, guys? I've changed my makeup routine a little bit, to be fair. I don't know whether it's doing anything in my favour. But I, I I don't know. I just want to try something different because makeup for me can feel a little bit same old, same old. And I don't want that for me, babes. Scissor's game, like Scissor's pen game is amazing. One thing about Scissor though, I'm never going to know who she's dating. I know that she used to date Drake, which is at absolutely unbelievable because how did drake anyways no mind um but yeah i know that they used to date and everything but i don't know too much about like scissors romantic life to be honest but like the more i listen to her lyrics the more i'm like okay who is this man or woman i don't know whatever like whatever way you swing i love that for you not me assuming it's a man but i guess because in the music like it, it's a man she's talking about but still the men in scissors music videos <sighs> fine as hell i don't know where you found them i know scissors personally casting them okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's talk about the lyrics though. So the lyrics are crazy. Now, I guess this specific song can be interpreted in a bunch of different ways. For me, I just interpret it as sharing men, which is one thing that I don't encourage anyone to do. I'm monogamous. Mon is it monog monogamous? Is it monog monog Genuinely, my English is not English. And I always say that. Like, when it's too early in the morning, babes, I don't speak English. I speak gibberish. You get to know. Guys, I'm doing my makeup in a very rough way just because, babes, I've been through it this week. I'm taking it out of my face. <laughs> guys i've had a really crappy week i went to the dentist and i had a root canal they didn't do a good job at fixing the root canal and i paid money for that root canal like i know it's a it's not an nhs thing so do you know do you know what i was bugging also if you're not british babes you probably have no clue what i just said you had no clue what those letters meant <laughs> my man is my man is your man her it is her man tuesday guys best believe i sang that song at my college performance i'm gonna let this set on my face i sang that song for my college performance in front of teachers in front of really important people that i probably shouldn't be singing that song in front of but i've always loved scissor and i've always loved that song and that came out like what back in 2017 when i take in music sometimes i'm not really deeping the lyrics i'm more focused on melodies i'm more focused on like the, the arrangement of a track and my goodness when i was singing it i was like there's no way she just said that my man is my man is your man her this her man too you take wednesday for thursday Gen then just send him my way i think i got a cup ladies let me tell you what scissor wouldn't tell you yeah don't do that and if you've done it before i'm sure you can confirm what i'm saying don't do it i ain't never done that before sharing a man i'm sorry babes what do i look like i don't even like sharing food are you dumb I'm gonna be real with you guys by saying that I, I wouldn't say I'm not judging. I am judging, you know? I think that's very weird behavior. I mean, each to their own, but like, I don't think someone can really sum up why that is, where the beauty is in that. So was this like some sort of open, like with Scissor's lyrics, yeah? Like I mentioned earlier, some people would interpret it as like, oh, she's in an open relationship where they're all aware of each other. But I don't know, knowing Sis, I don't know Scissor, but knowing the way Scissor's pen game is and knowing the types of things, the materials that she talks about in her songs, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if it's... <laughs> I don't know if it's that. It's giving more... I know you have a girl, but come to me on these days and go to her on those days. That's insane. That's what it gives me. 
Now, with Kill Bill, one of her biggest songs, and one of her best songs, by the way, like, I'm sorry, the, the, I get the feeling it's the last, now, as much as I'm sitting down here to say, oh my god, my good sis is toxic, she's still my good sis, and I still, I still saw her in concert last year, and everyone was vibing, like, that O2 arena was packed, not a single seat empty, well, maybe the one behind me, but that's because that bitch went to toilet and then come, didn't come back, I'm like, girl, did she disappear, poof, but real talk though, like, as much as I'm sitting down here to say, oh my god, my good sis is toxic, She's got other phenomenal traits, like that pen game though, doesn't play. And one thing about her, she's gonna experience something and put it into the music. I need to know who this person is. Who's this culprit? So yeah, that arena was packed out though. We were all jamming to these toxic ass lyrics. <laughs> when Kill Bill came on, I get the feeling it's the last cause. And then my meeting in it. Sorry, take me back. I feel like you guys are getting to see my personality like even more in these kind of like in my videos lately and I really love that not, be, not that I've been hiding I haven't been hiding the world from you I've been hiding you from the wait what was it Drake said I didn't hide the world from my son I hid the sun f I don't flipping know that flipping uh, no I didn't hide you don't care anyways Kill Bill lyrics are absolutely insane I might kill my ex not the best idea <laughs> his new girlfriend's here how I get like, who thinks of that? Now, have you ever thought about killing an ex? Nah, I actually haven't, you know? Or maybe it's because of my... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not relating. Like, maybe I don't fully relate to SZA as much as I would like to think I do. Like, I think she's a cool babe and everything. I think she's a fine, fine babe. But maybe I don't relate to SZA. Like, I don't think I've ever been, like, on, like, revenge mode. I've never been on revenge mode, like, after a breakup or after, like, the ending of something or even a situation shit. I just... <laughs> I don't really be doing much. I'm gonna be real. I don't. Um, oh look, the sun came out today. That's always breaking news here in London. Um, but and, and <coughs> God, can I catch my breath? Don't know when I lose my. <coughs> can you keep up? Scissor might just be the toxic one in a relationship, or maybe she gets with guys who are equally as to equally as toxic. Hey, si oh God, I was about to say, hey, Scissor. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What the flip? Talk to me. Hey Google, why is it that I got up and I assumed that Google would automatically listen? Hey Google, Google, oh my god, Google. If I wasn't me and I was watching this video, I'd think this person's on crack or some sort of substance. Hands up in the comment section if you've ever been able to like relate to a scissor lyric or whether you just like vibe of it and you can just appreciate a good lyricist. I think in this day and age, I appreciate somebody who's willing to put it into the music. The vulnerability, the craziness. I can appreciate that because I feel like a lot of people play it very safe when it comes to music. One thing about me is I'm going to contour. One thing about me is I'm gonna contour. Contour for me, like, I know when I'm satisfied with the way the contour looks. I think because my face is changing because I've put on weight. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Calm down, everyone. I have to, like, do different things in my makeup now. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. Also, why is this higher than... We'll fix it in the end. I always say this with my makeup. It looks horrible for, before it looks good. Nail check. I don't like it. They look too vintage historian. I like the length, but I don't know. It's not my favourite set. Anyways, um, there are so many lyrics that she has, which is just so toxic. And I'm like, do you plan, like, okay, like, this is like a jokey video. Don't take it too seriously. But also it's kind of like, okay, but do you actually plan on like getting better? In the song Drew Barrymore, she says, I get so lonely, I forget what I'm worth. We get so lonely, we pretend that this works. I'm so ashamed of myself, think I need therapy. I'm sorry I'm not more attractive. I'm sorry I'm not more ladylike. I'm sorry I don't shave my legs at night. I'm sorry I'm not your baby mama. I'm sorry you got karma coming to you. Collect your soul, get it right. So of course, towards the end of the song, she does come to her senses and realises that she's better off about this individual. But it's so sad because I do think specifically in the Control album, Scissor was hella insecure. And that's not even in a shady way. I think a lot of people could relate to Control more because it was something that a lot of people have felt before insecurity the real fans know about the song 2am by scissor it was actually released on like a random youtube account at first and everyone was gagging for like scissor to actually release it and then she released it as like a deluxe i think for the control album years later but in my opinion one of her best songs anyways the lyrics read i know now i get the point i hear you loud and clear 
All this time I've been playing your side, I could have done better-ish with my life, but to waste no time on you, because to got to move on because you got me effed up. I am confused from this point on, trust nobody. Out of my body, blow my fuse out, devil, please cut me loose. Please cut me loose. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I know we were talking about relatability, like, what, two minutes ago, but, like, mm, I fear that at one point I've been able to relate to this. Um, SZA talks about being the side a lot of the times, and I hope that she just doesn't experience that again and also in the control album SZA just I don't know she kind of comes across as like I mentioned earlier insecure and not knowing her worth and not knowing her beauty and if you check out the song normal girl um or even 20 something such sad songs I mean great music but an overall sad album if we move on to the SOS album which is her latest album she has a single called blind which just as catchy as it is, the lyrics are very, very toxic, um, talking about the plan B's whilst the guy is planning to have kids. I just feel as though you guys can't have a conversation and sit down. Like, maybe, I don't know, I'm just not into the whole toxicity. I mean, I am. Scissor will always be my most listened to artist, don't get it twisted. But you guys can't just be clear about where you guys are at. You can't go for the guy who's generally gonna, like, I don't know. But either way, Blind might be one of the most toxic songs I've ever heard, but a very good one at that. And one of my favourite songs from the album, Notice Me. She says, I don't want to be your girlfriend. I just want to be your person. I don't need to be your girl. Cool with just being your person. Already tried to be your girl. We can't even speak, but you stay on my mind. I can't regret no time spent with you. And I still wonder if you notice me. And then on the record, Ghost in the Machine, she says, can you distract me from the disaster? Can you touch on me and not call me after? Can you hate on me and mask it with laughter? Can you lead me to the ark? What's the password? Now, sis, have you seen you? Do you know who you are? What do you mean touching you and not call you after? Girl, can you stand up? Can you hate on me and mask it with laughter? No, absolutely not. Sis needs to remember who she is. She needs to remember the boss babe, the fine bitch that she is. To be spitting these kind of lyrics, I'm like huh i'm very intrigued to know what the next album would look like and the type of material she will talk on it now these she is spitting real bars i'm sure a lot of people can relate to it but i just want better for my sis scissor and she should want better for herself too okay no more toxicity please in a lot of scissors lyrics it kind of gives self-sabotage or it kind of gives especially in the um what's the first album called oh my god it's it literally escaped my mind control you can never forget control Especially in control, a lot of it just gives self-sabotage. Um, I do like normal girl. Wish I was the type of girl that you took him to your mama. Why is he not taking her, why is he not taking you home to him? I can go ahead and sit down here and talk about scissor, but it's also these men too. Like, I really do, I, I relate to some of these lyrics. I think I relate more to control. Yes, that's what it is. I think I relate, I relate more to control than I do SOS, but they're still phenomenal albums. I hate when people ask me to pick an album, maybe I'm not doing that. That's like asking me to pick my favourite snack, babes what? Leave me alone. I love them all. Wish I was the type of girl that you take home to your mama. The type of woman that your daddy will be proud of. She's just so gifted, man. Sis are so gifted and she can be toxic all she wants, I guess. <laughs> also, guys, I can't bother to do my eyebrows, so just pretend they're snatched. I'm not going to do any lip liner today. I'm just going to go. Oh, should I? Yeah, go on. Let me know down below in the comment section, like, what's your favourite scissor song? And do you prefer Control or SOS? Or do you love them both equally? I'm just going to use a clear gloss. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. It's just, like, a random food for thought. You guys can let me know your thoughts and opinions. Don't take it too seriously, though. I still love my good sister, despite her toxicity. I would love to see her enter an era where it's full. Like, it's full-on giving love a girl. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you to Balesa for sponsoring today's video. I really do love the products. And I hope you guys go ahead and check out all the important information down below in the description. It's a fun time. You guys can get the chance to win something, like I mentioned. And, yes, I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video. Bye!